Okay, guys. Um, well, we basically have our model here, and it's just uh, some wood that I uh, just made and just piled up and bake it and everything like that. Even customizable. If I move it, let's rebake it, and then you know it'll be there. Um, so times. So let's export our static mesh. So let's go to File, Export, FBX. And go to the folder where you want to put your um object, and I'm just gonna name it wood bat up and click yes. And if you all have R fifteen or R R fourteen, well, pretty much you might not have tracks, so you just uncheck it. You have big all frames, so you uncheck it. Um, leave extra settings. Pretty much, all you gotta make sure is your normals, your geometry, and stuff like that is checked. It and the additional they checked it. Um, but how I have the R16, um, pretty much they have more settings. But other than that, everything still remains the same. Just uncheck with animations and stuff. This is static. So click OK. And what we're gonna do instead of me, I'm just going to show you two one time on animating the platform the moving platform so I have a nice little base platform I made a little cube and you know shape it up like a nice platform here so what we're gonna do is we're gonna move, make this move up and down so to do that we are gonna go to character and we're gonna go to joint and you're gonna go into joint settings and we're gonna change bone to child to axis and then we're gonna put that to halfway and we have this nice looking bone here so what we're gonna do is now we're going to select the base platform and we're gonna go to character command bind and we're gonna move the joint into the weight tool which is this right here excuse me sorry we are going to okay so we're going to go to character commands and then fine sorry <laughs> And we're gonna drag the joint into the play tool, which is this right here. So if you get a little lost and you just click, oh, where can I find a thing? Then you just click the little way tool. So now, since we have all that set up, we didn't skin it our object. What we want to do, we want to put the base platform into the joint as a, as a child. And then when we click on the joint, we actually are gonna animate the joint. And that's what you do. So I got this from a guy, his name is Bruno. He has a uh, tutorial on it. Explore basic um, object animations from 3ds Max to Unreal Engine 4. Well, this is the Cinema 40 version. So, thanks to him, I say, okay, let me try do this. So, now I'm going to keyframe to this position. Like I say now, I'm keyframing, boom. Keyframe it. And what we want to do, we want to move it going down this way. I'll just zoom out right there, and then keyframe. Good. So we have this nice back and forward animation. Good. So if you are on R fifth, R fourteen, um, I think you might have to bake all frames. I show y'all how to do that. Um, but for for fifteen and up, I think you should be straight. Um, so all we gotta do is go to file, export as an FBX, and we're gonna call it platform, click save, click yes, and now we actually have, have to check our tracks, which is baked all frames to it, and bake it all for us, and just click OK. So now, we could, um, minimize our cinema, and go into the Unreal Engine. So I'm in a third person template. I basically just um 
imported my bad wood, you know, texture. So let me go to import now and we're gonna get our static machine here first. So we can get our wood, click open. Uh pretty much if you want it combine or you know, however you want it, you can do that. But for sometimes, especially when it comes to UVs, you might wanna uncheck combine meshes if you have so much stuff in one group, you know. And you have tied onto it, so sometimes it's good to uncheck that. But for right now, basically everyone is using the same texture, so nothing to worry about. So I can click import and text this out. And what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna click to do and delete the uh default color they give you. And I'm just going to drag him in here, and then I'm just going to drag him into space, and then just click apply, click save, and I can X up. So now we basically have our nice decent width ready to go and ship in. So now let's put it in. But before we actually put it in, let's add our collision. Don't forget collision now. So let's go and select these two so we can see our collision and the boundary of it. And what I like to do, I like to go to collision, auto converts collision, and this shows up. So 4 and 12 is really good, but when you have more of a huge environment, which I'm going to show you at the end of this video, when you have a huge environment, you can want, um, to put these to the max so it can actually go around to each object. Like I say, if you had a group all mixed into one, combined into one, and they all in different locations, then hey, you want that to happen. So you might want to turn all these up to the max. Um, so what I next I do is go to window and go to generate unique UVs. And I usually just go to the layout using zero channel. And I just click apply. And there you go. And what I will do is go to light map and turn this into 120 and then turn this into 1 and then click save. Now you can be back and forth, especially when you have models separate and sometimes it may not work great over um layout using zero channels and then you may want to just create a new one one time so you can be back and forth between so now I can X out now and oops sorry I got the content browser and bring it in I'm just gonna get and zoom in here Okay, good. So we have our little wood laying down. And now if we go and click all, press alt P, we are in game mode. And see, I can't go through it, not one bit. So that's good. So that is your static mesh uh, platform, our moving platform. And we click open, and we are going to import the animation and call it back and half minus for forward. And that's pretty much it. Just click import. And 
and X out of that. So now we have our animation file. If I double click on it, you see it's moving back and forward, right? So now if I uh, X out of this, what's gonna happen is if I did put this in, when I play the game, uh, my character is actually is gonna be up in the air because if you hop on top of it, it's going to <laughs> it's really gonna be stupid. It's actually going to <laughs> you jump on it. It's going to like be like so weird to the point like why the hell my character is in the air. So if you want to avoid that, all you have to do is just go to the R N R key right there, the list right there, and then click on the joint. And you see what they say. This will completely replace the car and pull and collision. And you want to say yes, and you want to change this in the box or whatever multi object you have, and then just click OK, and there you go. So now it made the perfect collision around your your um, box or your platform, moving platform. So now I could come out of this now, and let's just bring it in, bring in the B and F, and just bring it in here. Very close. We really want it to be close. Anyone move it up? Okay. Let's just move it up. Okay, so now if you click all P. Okay, so I'm in game mode now and we are going to up on it. And we're just waiting for it and let's go up here. This is where it starts. And there you go. So now you have a nice moving platform moving and you can move on it. No feet really in the air, you're actually on the platform. Pretty good. So now I show you all have a good amount of ideas using the Mac me and you know using triggers and stuff like that, the animations. So yeah, go for it. Um next I'm gonna show you how I export my level. So 